I'll do it later. That's what my sister said to me when we went to the car wash the other day and I asked her if she was gonna clean the inside of the car as well as the outside. She took so much care in washing all the water spots off and cleaning off the hubcaps until they sparkled. I was sitting in the passenger seat waiting for her to finish up when I started to smell a horrible smell. So I looked in the back seat and what did I find there? A pizza box, a carrot, a bunch of spinach for some reason, dirty socks, dirty shoes, dirty everything, and it smelled horrible. No wonder the car smelled so bad. It was full of garbage that had been accumulating over months. It was in that moment that I started thinking about the human heart. We do so much to make ourselves look good on the outside. We do so much to keep up appearances and to, to look good to those who are around us. But we don't think about what's going on in our own hearts. We look good on the outside, but our hearts are full of garbage. The stench of envy contaminates our spirit. We hardly flinch at the opportunity to slander those who are around us, to say bad things about them, to, to speak in half-truths, to, to exaggerate, just so that we'll look good. When our parents call us on the phone and we roll our eyes, and we, and we look at our friend and we say, blah, 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 blah. That's when disrespect for our parents takes root in our hearts. Those things contaminate our conscience. Our choice to love ourselves above others and above God has created a gradual pile of garbage in our spirits. We think we'll be okay as long as we've got it together on the outside. As long as people look at us and think that we're good, then we think we're okay. We know we need to fix it. Our own conscience convicts us. But we choose the easy fix and we say, I'll do it later. The day will come when we stand before God and we'll have to give an account for all the things that we've done. Our hearts will be laid bare before Him. All that's good in our lives and all that was bad in our lives will be completely revealed. We can't hide. And God can't allow someone's, someone whose heart is full of garbage to enter into His perfectly clean, holy and perfect house or pure house. But instead we'll be thrown out where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. While we're alive there's hope. God saw our condition and He did something incredible. God Himself came to earth as a man. He was born as a baby. He lived a perfect life. He never contaminated His heart with any of the things that we have chosen to contaminate our hearts with. He loved others and God above Himself in every single way. But even so, He died the death of a criminal so that you and I could be set free. In that moment when He was on the cross, it was that the, as though all of the trash, all of our garbage, all of our rebellion, all of our disobedience was put upon Him. And in that moment, He suffered the death that you and I should have suffered so that you and I can have the opportunity to have a clean heart before God's eyes on the day of our judgment. Why don't you come before Jesus today with a repentant heart? Why don't you put your trust and your hope in Him, the only one who died and resurrected so that you could have the opportunity to have a clean heart before God? Put your hope and trust in Jesus Christ. He can not only erase the sins of your past, but give you the strength to live for Him for the future. When you stand before Him, you stand before God with the purity of Christ.